This week, Chuck Schumer asked the FDA to investigate Prime, the energy drink created by YouTuber Logan Paul over concerns that the ultra-caffeinated version of the drink named Prime Energy could prove dangerous to young consumers. That makes sense as the beverage contains caffeine levels equivalent to about six cans of Diet of Coca-Cola. After, my, after my staff really refused to fetch me a can of her concerns that I would, in their words, die during the show, I instead... <laughs> invited one of our most famous and most available for endorsements guests to join me tonight to discuss it. Welcome to the stage, friend of the show, Jared Goldstein. Woo! He's back. And he's walking. Wow, what a walk. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Come on in. Should I sit here? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Did you see that OJ Simpson's gonna join the picket line? I saw that. Don't you want to know where? Don't you want to know what gate? Do you know which one it is? No, I want to know what gate. I mean, he's a, mer you know, it's like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. but it's not like, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, even some, he's not going to murder at fucking Barnum, you know, <laughs> he's not going to, yeah. he's not, he's going to stop. I mean, I, I mean, I guess he'll probably respect the traffic laws. I think he'll, he'll, at one of the gates, you just have to, the, some of the gates are better than some of the other gates. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> what? I was just saying he famously doesn't respect traffic laws. <laughs> Oh, that's right. <laughs> I just mean as a pedestrian during the strike, because uh, you know, have you the, the the at the at some of the gates you walk in a circle, but the saddest gate is the one where you cross, then press the button, wait for yeah. the little man, cross, press the button. You don't even get your fucking steps in at that gate. <laughs> yeah. Yep, just a circle. What in your mind is the most cele what is your what is, what in your mind is the most insane celebrity endorsement of all time? For my money, it's Bob Dylan doing a Victoria's Secret commercial. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, he did a Victoria's Secret commercial. Who is that for? Who's like ah, sexy? Yeah, <laughs> cool. Uh, someone, right? <laughs> Slam. <laughs> <laughs> you got slammed. I got slammed. <laughs> Wait, can I answer that question though? Yeah. Okay, because I uh, I think I think about this for all um, like hair dyes, like at home hair dyes. When there's a celebrity endorsing it, like whether it's like a Jennifer Garner or like a Selena Gomez or whoever, because you just know you know we all know that like when these women want to dye their hair, they're not going to CVS <laughs> and then going home and then like with putting the gloves on, they got a towel over their tits like my mom would do it. And then it's like, it's not happening. So it's like, I don't know why that celebrity endorsement even exists because it's, I think it's insulting to the consumer. We know, we know, we know that they're not using it. So stop. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> my mom should be the, the face of Garnier. <laughs> she uses it. Yes, and she looks great, and you know. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, I know what you're saying. I'm just At imagine. least, like, you could say, like, you could think, like, okay, maybe Logan Paul drinks that drink. Like, that probably happens, or maybe whoever is like in that car, bought that car. But it's like we just, you know, they're not using that hair product. I don't, I don't think Brie Larson drives a Nissan. <laughs> she might have one. I yeah, bet I you bet she, she has is. one, and she, it's like her vacation car. Yeah, maybe they gave her a Nissan. Yeah. <laughs> But like, you're in Marvel movies. Yeah. I mean, maybe she like. Maybe it's great. You know, she she seems down to earth. I think she might like a Nissan. Here's my dream car is like a tricked out Kia Rio. That's what I want. I want like a 2024 Kia Rio, heated seats, like just with every amenity possible, but it's like reasonably priced. Like it's, I'm not getting a ton of attention for it, but I still feel really good in it. And I saved a bunch and I'm still enjoying, you know, the vibrating seats or whatever. Um, and Kia's paying you, not paying you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's named Rio because it evokes Mardi Gras so powerfully? You know, I really wonder. I wonder why anything is named anything. It's it doesn't have to be called a Rio. Rio is I think it's Spanish for river. I yes. <laughs> it's Spanish it for does, river. The car doesn't look like a river. I think they just it there's a ring to it, Kia Rio. Everyone say it. Rio. It's fun to say. They're Kia pay, Rio. They're not paying us a dime for this. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Everybody say it together, Kia Rio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they're gonna just what are, if Kia Rio, if Kia gets a bump in sales, there's some story about we yes. gotta we gotta get in contact with the Kia people. We don't have a car. Keep keep eyes on Kia sales. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Jared. John. It's important to know your competition. Yes. Which is why we're going to put your knowledge to the test in a game we're calling Celebrity Match Game. Okay. You get it. Oh, look. Beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. What is that? Uh, it's Mr. Peanut. I think that's the Kirstie late Alley. Kirstie Alley. <laughs> the late Kirstie Alley. The hamburger helper is covering Crystal Lee. The late we had to hamburger pick helper. We had to pick wait, wait. The, the, late hamburger, hamburger the hamburger helper is covering Crystal Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I asked the art team to be like, hey, can you please? I'm sorry. So <laughs> you needed to pick a photo to make this image. And the first one, how many did you go through before you said, yes, the one with the late Kirstie Alley and Crystalia is the one we should use. Including this one? Yeah, including this one. Two. Two. What is, who's Mr. Clean in front of? Is um, it Kevin Spacey? <laughs> <laughs> now, I sure actually, have, I haven't seen any of these questions. I'm truly going in okay, same. So we can, I can play along as well. Okay. We're going to need you to match the celebrity to the honestly absurd product that they straight face recommend. Ah. It, did, it did both. It did both. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Jared, are you ready? I'm so ready. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wait, I actually know one of these. Wait, can I just say, I, I'm totally, I'm not kidding at all. The one that I know is wait, don't Bob say it yet. Dylan, Victoria's Secret. Well, yeah, that's because I was going, someone told me that once. <laughs> all right. First up, yep, we got that one. Victoria. <laughs> yeah. no, let's, we'll take it. We'll take it. First up, red wine designed to be served with ice cubes. Oh. To give you a hint. I think I know. Uh, the give wine... The name of the wine is the last name of this celebrity. Is it? I feel like it's Diane Keaton. Red, yes! It's Diane Keaton. I'm so stupid that I thought the hint meant that it was a wine from Ice Cube, and then I couldn't find him <laughs> on the list of celebrities. Because you, you said the hint is in the name of this wine. And so I thought, oh, Ice Cube's in the wine. Ice Cube uh, probably uh, did it as okay. like a fun little name so thing. You're overthinking. Yeah. I'm just going with my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Follow your heart. Why is it wrong to put ice cubes in wine? I don't. I mean, it's sh it because you should just put it in the fridge and wait. Right. <laughs> that's I guess that's the real answer. But I guess like if you do have bad wine, do you ever put a little ice or like water in bad wine to just kind of even it out? Ice, yes. Right? Like, it doesn't fully work. Like, it does not fully work. Next up, <laughs> edible cosmetics. Per the brand's original press release, dessert girls are full of sweetness and desire, and they don't oh, mind I getting know. their hair a little messed up in the name of seduction. Okay. Sexy girls want to taste. This is like uh, that movie, Slumdog Millionaire. Where I'm not supposed to know all of any of these answers, but, you but because of life. my rich full life... <laughs> On Long Island, I know that Jessica Simpson has edible makeup. Yes. Just, I wow. used to use Ken Pavis blow dry hair protectant, um, and all I ever wanted was the, the hairdo clip in extensions. Is it that the makeup is edible, like you just get a little, or can you just like have it as a snack? I don't know that it was fully makeup, it was more like, like, like cream for your body, so oh, it was I see. like sexual. Like you could eat oh, the cream. You could eat the cream. And that's sex. And that's what sex famously is. Yeah. All right, we got Bob Dylan already. Next up, we have the Nintendo DS. This celebrity dressed up as Mario and played against their sister in a TV spot for the handheld game console. Dressed up. It, it, it can't be Machine Gun Kelly. It's a DS. That's like an old game, right? It can't it's be. be. It's like not Mikhail Gorbachev, is it? It's. <laughs> <laughs> it just would be so surprising. I have like a weird. Oh no no no! I, I know it's not. What that. if it's Mikhail Gorbachev? <laughs> How could that possibly be? Do you do, okay? So do you know why I know that's Mikhail Gorbachev? Why do you know? It's the only one I don't know. Oh, and I go. That must be who he just said. Um, Play it against you think it's that? Sister. I don't think it is. I no, don't think no, it is. No no no! It must be. It I mean, I just think Sylvester. It's got to be. Is, is it, it Penelope? Is it actually, OJ. Oh, the Nintendo no, DS. That's like too late. He was already he was already um in the news by then, you know. Too late. What do you mean? Well, I think the Nintendo DS came uh, after. 
the whole thing. Oh. You know, when he stopped being uh, the naked gun person. I really wanted being... to get all these. I still can. I still can. Believe in me. I still can get these all right. So, so let's do process elimination. I don't think it's O.J. Simpson. It's not Mikhail Gorbachev. No, and it's not, uh, it's not Bob Dylan because we already Kelly. caught Bob. We already it's got not Bob, Bob Dylan. Dylan. So oh wait, it's either... there's somebody behind there. Oh, <laughs> there was somebody behind Bob Dylan on was... your slideshow, Malcolm. Hey, again, this is very complex <laughs> stuff. <I'm doing. laughs> Damn, I don't fucking I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's come back to it. Yeah, maybe we Let's come, come back. back to it. Hertz rent a car. The slogan for this celebrity's commercial was the superstar in a rent a car and featured them running through the airport to a Hertz themed parody of Carly Simon's, Simon's Nobody Does It Better, which was, of course, the theme song for the Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, and is, according to the head writer, Hallie, the best Bond theme song. Okay. Uh, Hallie's music taste aside, I know this one. You do? I do. I do know this one. All right, well, take uh, it away. It was, that was O.J. Simpson's famous ad. And running through the airport, jumping over things. Man. Okay. All right. Look, we haven't gotten one wrong yet. That's impressive. Wind chimes. This celebrity's wind chime business blew up when they were featured on an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I know this one too. I know this Dorit, one. I know Dorit this one. praised them as the chicest. Dorit. Dorit praised yeah. them as the chicest wind chimes she had ever seen. Is it? It's, it's Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, it's Jamie yeah, Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. It's Jamie Lee Curtis. Her wind chime business. It's. Oh, okay. I feel like I know who black nail polish is, right? It's got it. That makes sense. Yeah, let's well, hold on. High protein. Next up, we have high protein pudding. This celebrity discussed said pudding in a 2005 interview with Larry King saying, and I quote, so I thought, why don't I try something like pudding? And I go, pudding. I mean, kind of kooky, pudding, whatever. Then I thought, yes, pudding. That hasn't been around for a while. So a guy started working on it. I feel like it's Sylvester Stallone, but I don't, I don't feel 100% sure. 2005. It's probably not Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> yes, pudding. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Now I don't know. Now I don't know. Um, 2005. So I, I think it's kind of, it's not Machine Gun Kelly. I think it's either Sylvester Stallone or Penelope Cruz. I feel like Penelope Cruz did something really kooky and I, I it's on the tip of my tongue and it's not protein pudding. Yeah, so you want to say Sylvester Stallone? Let's, I think we should do it. I think we should go for it. Should we go? Ugh, what Do you guys think we should go for it? No. No? no. Uh, what? Skip. All right. We, skip we're here it. to skip. We're coming back to it. Vegan okay. nail polish. Colors include lobotomy, depressionist, 25 to life, and twin flame. Oh, okay. Now this does sound like machine gun. That like. sounds like machine gun. Yeah. Said this person's partner about the color twin flame. Instead of a soulmate, a twin flame is actually where a soul has ascended into a high enough level that it can be split into two different bodies at the same time. Yeah. God, that is Machine, that gun, is Kelly. Machine gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Next okay. up, we have Pizza Hut. This celebrity had a clause in his contract that he would not eat pizza in the commercial. When asked what they would do, what why why they would do this ad, the celebrity said simply, "Pizza is for everyone." Ooh. They think it's Gorbachev. Who's hundred percent? <laughs> we got they Gorbachev did a Pizza Hut commercial. Man. So we, we, what we have left is Nintendo DS, oh, Pizza kiss, Hut, kiss. Pudding, pro, protein pudding, and then the one we have not yet said. Yeah. So it could be Kiss, but the Kiss is, that's what, it's a person. That's a whole picture of all of them. It would have yeah. just been the, it would, I mean, though there's no, I mean, Malcolm oh, also didn't maybe, show us Kiss. Kiss is the last one that's like kind of on brand for them in yeah, a way. Yeah, we could, let's, let's, let's get, you know what, let's, we're going to come back to it. Oh, we're almost out. Next up, we have a branded casket. That's probably Kiss, right? Do you, do you have anything you need to say? No, I think it must be Kiss. Yeah! yeah. Okay! Guys, we're so close. We're so close. All right. We're what so do we have close. left? We've got, we've got protein pudding. Protein and pudding. And the Nintendo DS. Yes, and a pizza, and pizza hut. hut. And we've got, we've got Penelope okay. Cruz, Mikhail Gorbachev, and Sylvester Stallone. Again, Nintendo DS. I literally. Pudding and Pizza Hut. Honestly, wow. Yeah. So, That's a Friday night. So Sylvester okay, I Stallone. Think, I think I think Penelope Cruz was the Nintendo DS, and I think that's why I remember it. Yeah, because she was in a little costume, yes. and it was kind of cute. Wait, wait. No, I remember her just being like really hot and being like, she doesn't play that. <laughs> but I'm but, pretty sure it's her. Well, it's not Mikhail Gorbachev, and it's and Sylvester Stallone. I like does Sylvester Stallone have a sister? <laughs> he has a mother, right? His mother was in the movies. That was a thing. I th all right. So wait, but then we so we think Sylvester Stallone's making pudding in 2005. 
I think okay. so. I okay. Th that one could swap. I'm not sure, but I do feel like we should Penelope Cruz, Game Boy. Done. Let's do it. Call it in. Yes! Oh! Yeah, yes! I remember it. Okay. All right. So clearly Sylvester Stallone must be the pudding. Did you pudding. think we would get even this close? Mikhail Gorbachev didn't go on Larry King in 2005 and say, I have an idea for pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be hits. Yes. So let's let's call it Stallone pudding. We pudding. did it. It's about you. The final one, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut goes Mikhail, to Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev. Wow. Woo! We did it, Jared. We did we it. Did it. <laughs> Jared Goldstein, everybody. Thank you.